Well guys, welcome back at Emotion PSUs and today I'm going to show you how you can undervolt your Ryzen 5 8400F but really any of the 8000 series Ryzen in order to make it run a bit cooler with a little bit less degrees, draw a bit less power so it can run more efficiently especially if you're using a stock cooler like I am here today, it's going to be pretty helpful but also show you guys how at the same time you can get more performance out of it and for the few of you running this CPU with adequate cooling or that maybe are considering deleting the CPU like this to make it run even cooler because the CPU actually has thermal paste inside and if you put liquid metal instead you can get quite a few extra degrees well for those of you I'm going to show you how you can get actually a lot of extra performance out of your CPU up to 30% performance gains if we factor in RAM tuning and basically everything we can do with that said Let's get started. Here we are in the BIOS. Now, little disclaimer, okay, is that this is an ASUS BIOS and it's on an X870 ASUS motherboard. But you can do this on every single motherboard in the market, okay? And if you go on my channel, you go under CPU undervolting playlists, I have tutorials with different brands of motherboards. So I have MSI, ASDRO, Gigabyte, all of them. Even the Chinese one, I have a Qingyue, BIOSstar, all of them, I have them covered. So if you cross-reference this video for the settings and the other video for how the settings are called, you're going to be able to do this on every single motherboard. It's going to take a little bit more time, but unfortunately I cannot do every single tutorial with every different motherboard because it would take too much and it will be too many videos. So one last thing before we get started, if in the end the video is going to be helpful, please drop a like and subscribe, but after, not right now. Here we are in the bias. Now, first of all, make sure your resettable bar is enabled and then you want to enable your EXPO or XMP, okay? Now this you wanna test separately because this is not CPU matter. It's just you need to have this enabled and test this one out separately because if not, maybe the PC is gonna crash and you're not gonna find it. Now all those settings you can change in the advanced mode by pressing F7 on uh, ASUS motherboards and that's where we're gonna need to be working on. In my case, it's gonna be called AI Tweaker but it can be called Tuning, OC Tweaker and different stuff again depending on your motherboard now with that said let's go ahead now the first thing we want to do is the actual undervolting so to reduce temperature lose power consumption those things so you want to go in the precision boost overdrive tab but this is if you have an asus motherboard if you have any motherboard here's how you can do it go into the advanced mode go all the way down and you will find the amd overclocking tab open that one accept that your pc is gonna explode and now you want to go into Precision Boost Overdrive. This is going to be the same for every motherboard. Now here you want to put Advanced and then you want to go all the way down until Curve Optimizer and now you want to put this one on all cores, negative, and you want to put 20. And if you really just want to reduce the temperature, etc., you can press F10, save everything, close the video, drop a like and subscribe and see you guys maybe another time. But in case you want to make it run better for your system and spend a bit of time testing, you can stay. What this does is this reduces the voltage of your CPU, but by doing that, it also increases how long the CPU can turbo boost. Basically, the higher this number, the better. So if you are able to run 30, better, but very few CPUs can do 30. So you want to test this out yourself. You can do 25, you can do 30, the higher, the better. Now, on the other hand, if you're very unlucky and uh, for example, 20 is not working, you want to do 15 and if even 15 it doesn't work do 10 10 is gonna run on even the worst cpu out there this is it for the actual um undervolt but what i also like to do is go on platform thermal throttle control and put it on manual and i want my cpu to never exceed 85 degrees this is for longevity of the cpu i do not want my cpu running too hot for pbo limits i, I don't want to do anything but now we're gonna go uh, and actually talk about the performance improvement. So if you have the thermal headroom, so if your PC is running cool enough, what you can do is go on CPU boost clock override and put enabled positive and just put plus 200. Now this is gonna work on 90% of CPUs out there, but if you're very lucky, you can do 250. In my case, my motherboard doesn't let me do 250. So we don't have this problem. If you're very unlucky, you can do around 150 on literally any CPU out there, but again, you need to test it. Sometimes you may also want to do this setting here, but I don't recommend you do it. Just do it if you're unstable. So you may want to put the scalar on 2x and just see if it helps achieving stability, but I don't recommend you actually do it, usually. 
this is going to actually increase a bit of the voltage point. So it's better to not do it. Now, one last thing you can do for performance, and again, this is going to be RAM related. And uh, I remember you guys, I have a RAM dedicated tutorial on how to get more performance. So you should go check that one out also, because we cannot cover RAM in such a small video. But on the FCLK, you want to put this to 2033, but better 2067, and then test if it's stable. It's free performance, pretty much. Just do this, free performance. And uh, the video now is really over. So we have the setting if you want just temperature, and we have the settings if you want basically a bit of everything. Now, we could also do a static option, but I find it doesn't work as well, but I'm gonna give you some guidelines for it also. So if you wanna do the static option, you don't need to do any of the things we've done before. You just uh, go into the BIOS, go here, Go on CPU core ratio, go on CPU core ratio and put it on 50. And uh, well, you then need to find the proper core voltage, put it on manual to make it run. And around 1.3 to 1.35 is gonna work, but this is technically overclocking, it's not undervolting. If you wanna undervolt it, 47, I find is a good sweet spot with around 1.05 or 1.1, but I find the dynamic option, the first option actually works a lot better. And it's what I'm going to be recommending for you guys. So I would avoid the manual option on this CPU. And uh, with that said, if it was helpful, maybe drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And uh, have a very good day. Bye bye.